Today, we are building a home server, a single machine to run virtual machines with any operating system we want and to use it as a network attached storage. And all is done in one case. So let's go. After finishing this build, we will get to the good stuff. We have to install the operating system. In my case, I will go with Unraid to mix and match whatever hard drive I have and to use virtual machines with GPU path through. First, you need to go to unraid.net and click on free trial. Here, you have two options. Either you download the software to make the boot device for you, which is a USB device, or you can download this zip folder, unpack the zip folder and move all the files to the USB device. So in my case, I have installed this software, Unraid USB Creator. We have to click on it and type in the password. So after finishing this install, we have to select a bunch of things. First, I will select the stable version, which is 6.12.8. I will select a server name. In my case, yeah, I will leave it as tower. Then I will allow the UEFI boot and we'll go for DHCP because I do not have a static IP address. Then the boot device will be this USB which is the data traveler and I will click on write. Yes, I will erase and write to the USB device. The second method as mentioned before is to go to this file, click on it and download this file. Once downloaded, just double click on the zip folder, go into this folder. Now just copy and paste everything to this USB device. Now the USB is ready. We can unplug it and plug it to the server. Now let's get your keyboard and mouse ready and let's fire up the server. While, while booting up, hit uh, delete or F2 or whatever your monitor shows you to go into the BIOS. In here, depending on your motherboard and the version of your motherboard, you will have a different layout, but you have to choose the boot option. In my case, it is the USB drive Let's hit enter and select it. Then go to exit, save changes and reset. And that's it. Hit OK. That was it. We don't need this keyboard and mouse anymore. Because now everything is done over the web UI. So let's go into your computer and onto your browser. For web interface, you will get here your local IP address. So in your browser, you have to enter this IP address and hit enter. In here, you have to select the password, make it a strong one. After clicking OK, we can decide either to purchase a key, redeem an activation key or start a free trial. Let's go with the free trial. Let's confirm it. And I've tested this software before, so I have 27 days remaining. I can hit close and here we go. We are in it. In here, you can see all the cool stuff from my motherboard, from my CPU. You can see I have 16 cores installed. You can see the RAM, which is 80 gigabytes and all the drives that I've installed on this machine. And one cool thing of Unraid is it also shows me what drives are healthy and which are not. One of my drives is not okay. It's a SunDisk Plus. It's an SSD and we can do a smart self-test and start this short self-test and we will get the information on why it is not okay. So as you can see, three minutes in, we have everything installed and we can use it to the fullest 30 days, which is incredible. So let's get started. We are going to main. So in here we can select different drives for our array. In my case, I would go for the three terabyte and the three terabyte and do a parity also on a three terabyte drive. The parity drive is the backup for your drives. I would also assign the two terabyte to my array 
and use it for faster speeds. We can also add a cache pool uh, with a different drive. We could use uh, one remaining NVMe drive uh, to cache files from and to our server. But to get started quickly now, I will just assign the two terabytes disk with no backup. I will go with the Samsung uh, NVMe drive for now. You can click on this drive and use a file system. I will go with, with, with CFS encrypted and compression on. I will hit apply and go to the main uh, dashboard. Now having this single NVMe drive in here, I will scroll down and I will enter a path phrase. Once entered, click on start. Now we've added this disk and now I will show you the fun part where we will go for a virtual machine and install Windows or Ubuntu to run games on it. Let's go to tools and to system devices. In here, select all the GPUs you've installed. So this and that and click on bind selected, click done. And now we have to reboot the system. Click on reboot the system, proceed. After a minute or so, um, just re-enter your username and password to log back in. So after rebooting the system, you have to start your array again. So go here, re-enter your passphrase. And once entered, click on start. Let's go over to shares and click on ISOs. In here, we want to make sure that this folder, this share is exported, which means it is visible to other devices on the same network if we select public and hit apply. Now we have to create a user uh, which can access the files on the network. So go to users and hit add user. I will uh, get a username and I will type in a password. Now having this user, you can go to your uh, finder or folder and go to the network tab. In here, you can connect to, and after you're connected, go into ISOs. Now we need an ISO of an operating system. I will choose Windows for now. So on the official page, select the operating system. I will go with Windows 10, hit on uh, agree and select your language. I will go with English for the purpose of this video. I will choose 64 bits because that is what the server uh, runs and going into the tower and to ISOs, let's save it there. So once the download has finished, let's go back to the server and let's go to settings and VM manager. In here, we need the drivers to run Windows. The hit download to download all the necessary drivers. Having that, go to VMs and let's hit add VM. Let's select Windows 10. And now we have to select a few things. We have to decide which uh, CPU and threads to use. I will give uh, the operating system about 16 gigabytes. The machine is I 440FX, this is the motherboard. I do not want to do Hyper-V. The USB controller, let's do 3.0. The operating system to install, click here. Now we have two ISOs in here. Uh, let's select the Windows. The primary disk size, let's do 100 gigabytes and for now, just select virtual. We have two GPUs on our system, but let's uh, stick to virtual for now. I think that is it. Let's hit create and press enter to run the DVD. Now the Windows boot drive is emulated and it will install the Windows to our SSD or NVMe in our case. Let's go with English. United Kingdom next, install now. 
For now, click I do not have a product key. Select the Windows type, Windows Home or whatever license you want to purchase. Hit Accept, Next, Custom Install. And now we have to import the driver. So click on Load Driver and hit OK. I will select the driver for Windows 10. If you do not find it, go to Browse. Then under CD to VIOS Tor, then to Windows 10 and AMD 6.4 and hit OK. Then click on this and hit Next. Then all the drivers are installed to get the disk ready. Now the disk is visible and we hit and select this disk, click on Next. And now Windows is going to be installed. Now you have to select the region and the keyboard layout. In my case, it is German. I do not have an internet connection. Connect with limited setup. I will choose a name. You can choose whatever you like and a password and some questions. Now you have to select different uh, settings, I will go for the second option every time. And here we are, we have Windows uh, installed and it is run on our server through the web interface. Um, and now we will install the GPU driver to make use of the actual GPU and to use it with an external monitor with external keyboards and mouse and to run it on full speed. Let's go. So go here to device manager. And then now you see different devices uh, with a flag on them. So do a right click on them and do update driver. We do not have the internet connection yet because of missing drivers. So browse my computer, click on browse and select your CD drive hit next and it will look for the drivers. Now it has found them. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs on the same network? If it is at home, yes, I want that. Close that. Now we have all the network adapters and let's do it for the drives as well. And here for this one, update driver, browse my computer, hit next. Everything is installed. And now we can close and shut down the VM to actually pass the GPU through our Unraid server and to make actual use of it in this virtual machine and game and use it for deep learning. Being back on our uh, Unraid server web interface, go to your virtual machine, click on here and edit. Now we will go to graphics card and use a graphics card. I will go for the RTX one and I will choose a sound card, also this one and make sure if you have multiple GPUs, they are assigned by a number. So the RTX one is 800 and the GTX one is 900. Uh, we'll go with the RTX, which is 8. So the sound controller would also be 8, but 0.1 because it is in Linux, it's two separate cards. Now scroll down and apply a wired keyboard that is connected to it and the unifying receiver, which is the mouse. And we can pass all the 8.0 .8, uh, uh, stuff. Also, let's hit update. And once this is done, let's restart the VM. And I will show you uh, what you will see on the screen. So let's hit start. And as you can see, the display is flashing and now everything is booted from the device directly onto our display. And as you can see, it will boot as a normal 
a computer would. You might wonder why this graphics is so distorted. This is because we have not yet installed the NVIDIA drivers. So log into your PC. First things first. Let's install a new browser. And of course, uh, it is filled with ads and the wrong site because we need Mozilla Firefox. Hit yes. Install the new browser and do not show this message again and set as default browser. Now having this browser, let's install NVIDIA Experience. Go to downloads and hit it twice. Yes. And voila, here we go. Nice display. Everything is done. Now we have to log into the NVIDIA console, hit log in and enter the security code. Now having this, go to drivers and download the newest driver. Hit express install and yes. And after thing is installed, hit close. And there we go. We have everything set up. You can go to task manager and get to see that we actually see our NVIDIA GPU and also we can test it. Just download a benchmark. I will download a heaven benchmark to prove that it actually works as expected. Hit agree next, 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 next. Install and let's hit extreme benchmark and run. And as you can see, everything is running on the highest qualities. We can also do a benchmark. So let's hit benchmarking and it will now benchmark the system. So fast forward, having done the benchmark, you can see we got an average FPS of about 200 FPS and a score of about 5000. So having done this benchmark, you can see the average FPS is about 200 with a score of about 5000. And as you can see, you can run windows in a virtual machine on your device on your server and everything works out great so hope you liked this video if you did please hit the thumbs up and stay tuned for another deep learning project on this server